This is a bento box, a Japanese style lunch box that holds a complete meal in a single portable container. This arrangement is not only practical for carrying around, but it is also pleasing to look at with a variety of colors and shapes all neatly organized within the box. Now, recently, this lunchbox design has found its way in the web design world. The web design trend uses a similar approach of organizing content within visually defined sections of the web page, similar to the different compartments of a bento lunch box. Which brings us to today's video where I am going to share my process of designing and coding my own bento style portfolio website. So here's what I have in mind. A uh, bento web design mainly makes use of grids. So my landing page is going to have a grid-like structure, which has all of the sections that you need for a portfolio. For example, resume, projects, education, work experience, blog, contact, and more. When the user clicks on any of these sections, it should ideally take them to another bento style layout, representing more information within that section. I want there to be some sort of animated transition between these two pages, but I spent some time prototyping this transition within Procreate. This is what I have to begin with. Before I continue on working on the design, I want to set up the basic layout in code. Initially, I was planning of making it with just HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but I thought using a framework would be a bit more convenient. So I went ahead with Next.js and Tailwind CSS for my styling. This is how the layout of my web page is going to look like, but I still have to figure out what the color palette is going to be like. I also need to figure out what goes within each of these sections of the grid. Instead of using Figma, I decided to use Canva for doing my UI UX design because I am just more familiar with it. Anyways, my design process has never been thorough. When I sit down to design something, my goal is to come up with an initial idea that I like so that I can build upon it directly in code. As you can see here, I started out with a very bright and lively color palette. Then I changed my mind and decided to go with more earthy and natural tones, so a lot of green. After working on it a little bit, I again changed my mind. I did a lot of back and forth with the colors and the fonts as well. But I think this is the idea that I'm going to stick with. So I want my website to look like a graphic design poster much like this one that I have over here. It's going to be very colorful and full of imagery. Unlike the last time, this time the illustrations are going to be vector illustrations so that I can export them as SVGs and animate them. I might have found just the perfect tool for this. This website, svgator.com, lets you create SVGs as well as animate them with the help of this really simple interface. If you've used any sort of video editing software, you'll quickly get the hang of it. So I was playing around with this tool last night I was just trying to see what kind of illustrations that I can create here this is what I was able to create I have to make one each for all of these grid sections and then animate them as well I'll also need to upgrade to a pro subscription to be able to export these animated SVG so I just hope it's worth the money
I'm going to keep these illustrations as simple as possible with abstract shapes and flat colors. As for the color scheme, I found this color palette on coolers and I finally committed to it. All of the graphics that I'm creating, I'm going to use only this color palette so that all of these graphics have a consistent look to each other. This is how all of the graphics look together live inside of the website. As for the transition animation, I am making use of React Spring and I believe I got quite close to the vision that I had. So all of these grid sections pop in and when you click on a section, it takes you to another bento layout with this cool transition. You might notice that I've also created a custom cursor here. I've talked about the process of creating this cursor in one of my older videos. So I just implemented that in React this time. If you're curious, you can watch that video over here. One more thing that I want to point out here is this typing animation that I recently talked about in one of my Instagram videos. This is again a very simple animation. Even though I've not quite finished this website yet, I will still put up the code on GitHub in case you want to play around with it. It is not a finished or polished product yet, so do not expect good code quality right now. I also made sure that this website is responsive. On smaller screens, I've just kept it simple. Instead of a bento layout, I've just stacked each of these sections on top of each other. I hope you enjoyed the overall process of building this website. I am on a journey of learning new web design techniques and in this project, I was able to combine a few of my learnings that I've learned recently. That's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.